Welcome to today's technical analysis video. This is our daily stock trading series. My name is Eric Lewis and today we're going to look at Alphabet Inc. otherwise known as Google and it's November the 21st on 2019. So here's a look at their one year chart. Um, you can see that we uh, at the beginning of the year had a uh, very strong uptrend uh, right up until about their earnings update in late April and then you see a downtrend and then since then we've been really heading higher uh, we had a gap move after earnings in late July came on back down and it's just been sort of a grind higher again and uh, just so you know these are all-time highs in the stock trading at let's see what we close that today $1,301.35 per share. That's quite an expensive uh, 100 lot of stocks. So here's a look at the one year moving averages and uh, with all time highs, you expect all three uh, moving averages, the 10 day, the 20 day and the 50 day to all be uh, in line heading higher. And that's, uh, or in order at least, uh, and that's kind of where we are with the 10 day higher than the 20 which is higher than the 50. And of course, uh, the five year chart uh, shows similar uh, uptrends. We did have, we've had a couple of uh, pullbacks in the market, but always followed by a higher high. Uh, so this is just a really strong stock. Uh, you can make the case that it may not be as strong as it has been in the past, but uh, I don't know that I would uh, take a look at that and we'll keep looking, but Here's a look at the moving averages, and to no surprise, the uh, moving averages, even on the weekly chart, uh, weekly data, uh, is all higher. So this is a five-year chart, which allows us to look at a weekly uh, bar. Each bar on this is one week long, and the 10-week is higher than the 20-week, which is, of course, higher than the 50-week. Now, we're not going to look at the Fibonacci analysis because... We haven't had any sustained pullbacks that weren't followed by a higher high. So uh, this is the all-time look at this stock uh, since it IPO'd back in 2014. And I mean, it's just, it's a strong uptrend with uh, one six-month period, maybe two uh, periods of downtrend. And otherwise, it's been strong. Now, let's take a look at the MACD. Um, of course, with such a sustained uptrend, uh, it's very easy to get false signals. Right now, uh, we are seeing a cross in the overbought territory. Um, I'm less likely to short this stock, of course, um, just because it's super strong. So uh, definitely worth uh, taking a look um, and deciding uh, how you want to play this. Uh, play this stock overall, but I'm not putting a lot of weight in this cross in the overbought territory uh, with the MACD. And then this is just a look at the uptrends that we've experienced this year. And you will note the slope has changed uh, for the various uptrends. So you have the uptrend that we saw at the first half of or the first. Uh, first few months uh, at least of 2019 you have the uptrend that we saw in from June through October and then the one that we've seen since early October until now having a, a, a significantly uh, tighter range and a uh, steeper uh, uptrend a steeper slope so not sure what all of that means it's just good to take a look and see uh, that we are climbing higher faster uh, than we have at any other rate or any other period this year. So overall, uh, Alphabet stock is trading at all-time highs. So the moving averages, of course, are all in line for bullish prices. With um, the Fibonacci retracement, well, with such a sustained long-term uptrend, the Fibonacci is less uh, relevant because every retracement has been 100% and greater. So uh, the Fibonacci doesn't hold as much value for us. The MACD, of course, I kind of uh, already said, I, I believe it's giving a little false sell signal. I wouldn't put a lot of weight in that right now. Overall, we're at all-time highs. Uh, we've had several uptrends this year, 
and overall it's a long-term uptrend so nothing can go up forever uh, but I'll let you sell it before I do <laughs> I'm not looking to short Google anytime soon it is the dominant player in uh, in any sector just about any sector that it's in arguably and so you know do you sell strength uh, 